again to our YouTube channel. In today's video from the Photoshop Tips and Tricks, we are going to see a nice trick. We are going to see how to make leather imprint using Photoshop. Along this, we will learn nice tricks from the typography of Photoshop and how to use fonts. You know, we use uh, we upload uh, videos on Mondays and uh, Thursdays uh, or Fridays, so twice a week we upload videos. So subscribe and check the bell icon so you can receive our videos as they are released. Without any further, we are going directly to Photoshop. Okay. Uh, first, we need to to imprint on leather, as we said. So we uh, will use an image that we downloaded from Unsplash, and we will uh, first we embedded it. So we will not change its size or resolution to keep it as it is. So just we'll press enter. Okay, we have a lot of uh, methods to select uh, this image, this leather uh, part from the image. So we will try one of them. We have previous videos. Uh, we are going. I'm going to share the link in, in the description also for making the selection. We are going to use a new selection today. We are going to select subject, which is an automatic algorithm from Photoshop to select the main uh, subject uh, in this image. You can see that it has seen uh, two main sub, uh, subjects in this image, so we need to delete this one. So we will select one of the tools, uh, like the quick selection tool, and we will be selecting the minus from here or the subtract from here. And we are going to uh, remove the selection from this part. We are left only with this uh, selection for the leather. So Control G we will make a new layer from the leather, and uh, we will make this layer invisible using the eye. Here. Uh, all these details, if you like to follow in a written format with uh, photos and screenshots, we you will find them on uh, on our blog. Uh, one or two days after the video is released, we convert it into a post with details or a tutorial with details uh, steps. Okay, now uh, this piece, this piece of nice leather uh, which we had selected is having some uh, writing on it which that we don't need. So we will uh, zoom in a little bit. And then uh, we like to uh, remove it. We will be using the clone tool. Okay. First, Alt, then click to select the area which we will repeat. So Alt, select. This area is the area that will be repeated. If we approach the area that we need to print over it from the left, as we are doing now, so continue in this direction. Otherwise, you will find random coloring coming. Uh, in your text. So we come like this, we print, 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 and we go down a little bit. Okay, print, print. Okay, usually try to start from the left to make sure that you clone the right area. Okay, now we have a very nice piece of leather to work on. Then we're going to duplicate uh, this layer after we had finished the uh, the, uh, the the touch we had made on it. So uh, right click, duplicate layer. Okay, I will call it background. Okay, and this will be our background layer. I'll bring it down. Okay, and I'll make it invisible for now. Okay, so now I need to print on this piece of leather. To print on this piece of leather. Uh, just we can write the text and select it to uh, to be able to use uh, the text tools, or uh, I can simply uh, use a, tool, a nice tool from Photoshop that I can write already in a selected text, which will make uh, just an outline of the text and it will be pre-selected. Okay, so I'll be selecting this one and I'll put it here uh, in the center. I will write simple ways. Control Enter to finish my writing. V to select it, then I need to go to select transform selection. If I didn't make the transform selection, I'll show you in a moment. Now, if you move the text, you'll find that it is already cutting uh, in the leather. So, control Z, okay, then I will go to select transform selection. Then you can see you can move it easily. Uh, Using this, you can do you can perform any of the selection uh, transformations like skew, uh, perspective, warp, everything as normal as you uh, you can do on any 
uh, selection so I'll be using the verb from here and I'll be doing some arc okay after I've done the arc control enter and then then I will go again to select transform selection okay I'll be moving it down where I need it then I'll bring it inside my leather okay that's very nice if you like to change uh, the curve you can change it okay till you are satisfied with the curve and how does uh, and how it looks after that simply I will make delete so enter first to end the transformation then I'll make delete and then control D like this I'm having the nice cutting in my leather I'll bring the background layer to life now you can see that it's not appearing but while I'm on this layer I will add to it bevel and emboss effect okay and like this you can see that your letters are coming again but this time they are coming as imprinted uh, on the letter uh, the shape of the uh, or the how the imprint is coming you have a lot of uh, little tricks to make it so this one we are using here the inner bevel you can make an outer bevel it will give you a different uh, effect I prefer the inner one the, the inner one you can make impose okay you can make pillow impose so you have a lot of different things I prefer the uh, inner bevel uh, you can change the depth you can decrease the depth or increase the depth of the imprint okay and you can change its size how much you like the effect of the imprinting uh, on the leather okay and you can soften it, its edges or make it hard, hard. okay there's uh, another uh, nice trick here from here you can see uh, if I change this color okay which is the color of the shadow okay or the highlights I'm using it, it's going uh, to affect the color of the imprint so like I'm uh, selecting a dark color from this range you can just watch here if I make it a little whiter you can see the effect suppose that I make it on a greenish one okay and here the shadow multiply it's also having high effect if I bring it here you can see it's changing uh, the color of the imprint if I bring it here on the green side it's changing it depends if, if you like to to make some uh, different shadows but I prefer to keep it in the brownish area okay or even on the black side okay this one also I like to keep it on the dark side it's giving more authentic uh, looking uh, to the imprint okay another thing which is affecting uh, your imprint uh, is the altitude this one is altitude of the light which is making the shadows so if I change this one to zero you can see how it looks if I change it uh, to 30 again that's how it looks if I change it to 60 you can see how it looks so you will have a lot and a lot of textures that you can make from the imprint of uh, of your leather I will keep it to uh, 40 for example and then I will make okay uh, you can see that this uh, is not only uh, for the writing uh, I can add for example if I need to add some logo I'll, I'll select this logo for example okay and I'll just bring it here in the middle okay here I'm selecting it at the pass only at the pass and then I'll make it V and control enter as a selection and then I'll make delete and then control D and you can see that very easy it's already imprinted on leather uh, I hope uh, you had learned uh, a wealth of information today that will 
help you making uh, your new project. Uh, if you have uh, any uh, questions or explanations, leave us a comment uh, under this video or uh, on our post that will be describing the steps. It will come uh, tomorrow after tomorrow the, uh, on our uh, blog uh, for the tutorial for the, for the Photoshop tutorials. Uh, if you have any questions, any clarifications, you can contact me directly. I reply in person to everyone who uh, contacts me uh, with any su support if you need with the project, even uh, just not exactly from any of our previous videos. Uh, subscribe, um, activate the bell uh, su um, button to make sure that you receive uh, all our uh, videos uh, on time. Uh, like our videos, share the information. Thank you for following so far.